Good evening, guys. My name is Sarafa, and we are here to talk about some useful features which has been introduced by SafePal, and this can be located in our SafePal app. When we open our SafePal app, we click on a token. Uh, we locate the service section. We click on it, and we've got some options to select from. We've got gas station this we've got um, approval manager we've got token detection we've got the blockchain explorer and we've got the coin gecko section um, today we'll be emphasizing on token detection blockchain explorer and coin gecko but we we'll just briefly talk about the gas station the gas station is a uh, where uh, a, un a section where we can get um, gas more or less you have you have some SFP and you like to get some gas on on your BNB the native token you can just swap some SFP to get BNB and you can use um, other tokens as well as the BUSD the USDC and um, USDT it's more like a refuel. You are refueling your, um, you're refueling your gas token. So we come on um, approval manager. This is a section whereby we, uh, um, we can revoke contract that has been signed. Well, um, we can revoke an allowance. So you as um. We've approved the contract uh, right after swapping a certain token and you feel like oh that contract isn't safe and you'd like to revoke it you can come to the approval manager and revoke it so we can just do a quick sample i want to revoke the bakery swap uh just confirm and wait for it to revoke so that's it i've revoked the contract so we go on uh, to today's um, topic which is the token detection we click on the token detection this is actually a useful app where it allows us to detect tokens that are genuine and as well tokens that aren't scams so it gives us a full detail and information regarding a token so after clicking the token detection because I'm under SFP so this right here is the SFP contract address and it has been um, located in the BSC network so that's it I click on it then I click on check so this is it this is the information self power token so it checks for the security detection it didn't um, detect any risk neither does it have uh neither does it call our attention to any um information so we just scroll down it tells us the basic information the um symbol as um the symbol the token represents which is sfp it tells us the name of the token which is safe power token um the contract address which is um this um we can just copy and probably relate it with this we've got here we we'll paste it to see if it's still the same then we click on check so come back you can see guys so it is correct so this is the contract um, creators um, address then right after that we come and check um, the security we scan for you can see the um, contract um, source code is verified which is marked green um, no proxy it's marked green no main function you can mint more tokens it's marked free that's green no function found that retrieves ownership it's marked green owner can't change balance it's marked green no hidden owners it's marked green this token cannot self-destruct itself it's all marked green no external call risk found this token is not a gas abuser so all is marked green then we check on the um, honeypot risk 
if this um, token has any on port risk this is going to this token detection is going to detect it if probably it has um, an increase um, a buy tax or a sell tax so we can see the sfp token is free from all of this which makes the token a pretty safe token to to hold and um, to own i mean sorry to own and probably to trade so we can all see all is checked green if there is any issue with it it's gonna show red or if there's any attention that is, that needs to be called to a section it's going to show yellow so we can come here to see the top 10 holders which are all being listed here he'd been locked um if you would want to scan any of this contract we could see the contract address had been um, the address had been listed on the left hand side we just click on any i can click on this pancake v2 then i click on it then it brings me to where this um token has been located you could see so uh we go back click on our token detection we'll see what we have next uh, so we could see all the owners is holding zero and uh, the creator is holding 0.05 so nothing so we can search for the um this is the creator address um the dexes in which these um tokens are being um being traded and located so we can see the top 10 lp holders as well these are all being visible and this makes um, our decision of owning a token um, very easy whereby we can scan a token to see if there's any risk of us holding if possibly there might be um, uh, um, a contract as uh, a token exploit or a contract exploit with the token so safepal has gone through those security check and everything is marked to be safe so we go to the blockchain explorer section clicking on this it takes us to bsc scan where we can see all the vital information of safe power which we saw in the token detection um, section you could see it here as well it's just an easy way for us not going through bsc scan um, trying to search for contract address and um, going through the informations we need so just clicking under the safe power click on the token um, click on service by the right hand corner scroll down and you can see your blockchain explorer you can find every information you need there and if you don't want to go through here you can just go back to the app go back to sorry go back to the app so coin gecko you can also access coin gecko where we uh, can also um, check for the market cap of safe power check the circulating and total supply and every other information we need about the token and also the history the token movements histories you can see that here as well so this is actually a very very great future a uh, feature to use on the app because it makes searching a searching and um and acquiring information very easier so we give this a try for another token check for another token on another network um okay we've got ai dodge um we click on service that's it uh we come to token detection let's scan for it so it's this token is under the Arbitrum network. You remember the safe part we did was under BSC network, and this is under Arbitrum network, and the contract address is already automatically been checked. So um, it has zero risky item, but it calls our attention to to four um, to four information. Um, all has been checked. All being checked green, but it brought out yellow which says potential risk of external call. The contract would call functions of other contracts when primary methods are executed. It would cause this contract to be highly dependent on other contracts, which may be potential risk. 
so why using this it's 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 a lactose to this to say this might be um, a potential risk or calling our attention to it then um, another um, attention it called us to was um, about buying tax and selling tax we realize why selling our uh, uh, tokens uh, AI Dodge on Texas we could realize there are some certain amount of taxes that are being charged for each transaction we make either we either we buying or we sell it so this has already um, proven to us that this is a certain amount of tax that we would be deducted if you are trying to sell on dexes so these are actually challenges many people were facing then while trying to swap their ai dodge on dexes that's why they were sending to um centralized exchange to swap so this has actually pretty showed us this uh the um these are the possible issues to be faced when trying to swap this token and also it says here the last attention called us to says tax can be modified so the tax can be modified from the 15 percent we see here to probably 20 percent or 25 percent or whatever the team or the token um, generator decides of it so we can see the top 10 holders here you can see if we want to track the wallet we just click on this and it brings us straight to the wallet so that's for that about ai dodge uh we could check okay we just we can check the blockchain explorer so it's gonna you know the last one we checked was talking about the bsc scan but you can see this is the abyss scan so this is the abyss scan so it's it, it's quite more easier and um it's quite more easier because it reduces the stress of trying to find what the what the scan for a certain network is but with this it makes it more easier for you so you don't have to click the wrong link and um probably get the malicious link telling you to sign in your wallet and stuff like that let's check for another wallet which is the phantom we'll click on service we can check for the blockchain explorer you can see it brings us to the ftm scan so i think this is a pretty good future because it makes scanning and um, searching for um, a scan more easier for us to locate and this click on service block explorer it brings us to the near so it's actually a good future and if we would want to check about the information of a token we click on coin gecko it makes search and um, gaining information more easier for us this is actually a good innovation being brought in by safe power because it is going to help its users and save them from I'm clicking any malicious link and um, and further help them more to understand how to make use of the blockchain explorer and as well making use of the coin gecko easily thank you guys do have a wonderful day bye bye